because uh, this hero can drop extremely quickly. Final pick will now come out for IG. What is 430 going to be handling? Ember is not terrible to kill illusions in general, but Terror Blade does tend to stack up that armor so he'll real, from agility, so he'll really need the other team right there. And they'll go a different route. They're going to go the incredibly nerfed Tinker. I wonder if IG has some different style of gear in mind from the Dagon E-Blade build, because that has just been smacked around by Ice Frog. Also, uh, the, I guess this is where we should just list out all the big Tinker changes. So, True. March of the Machines no longer affects spell immune units, so BKBs are really good against him again. Um, at least while they're higher duration. BKB is great against him. He can't farm the Ancients as a result. He cannot farm Golems anymore, although that's less of an issue in the jungle. Um, and aside from that, there's also been changes to Dagon. The Intelligence bonus per level is better, but for Tinker, that's not really a good thing. It's uh, 180 mana cost at all levels, so it hurts his mana pool a bit. And the last change is that Ethereal Blade is not instant anymore, and it also does not make caster ethereal so for here like morphling maybe not the biggest deal but for tinker it means even when he uses that shotgun he could still be auto attacked afterwards and it also has a projectile so it moves at 1100 speed which is pretty fast but not instant and so well I i'm almost wondering if tinker will still be viable but just not as like the dagon e-blade style and maybe we see more like scythe the vice or even shiva style tinker well i guess yeah. we'll wait and see what 430 does yeah, the hex stacking I think is a, probably a really good route to go here. If they get the control, they certainly have the damage from all of their big ultimates. So I think that uh, just spam hex would probably be a really good route. Uh, another kind of pseudo nerf to him, but it's a covers a lot of heroes, is the increased gold cost of Blink Dagger. This hero really does not shine until he gets both BOTs and Blink to help him farm up on lanes and such, and yeah, that's going to be just a little bit of extra gold that he has to pick up there. So uh, Yeah, and also the fact that Urn now disables your Blink Dagger. Oh, that's just yeah. one more way that Tinker has been indirectly hit. So a lot of direct nerfs, but I think more he's been affected by these indirect ones. Oh, cheese bug. Uh, oh, it's a lich. He's got the 315 base move speed. I think Concussive plus Malefus, they do bring him down, but you don't want to skill Malefus that early on Enigma. It's uh, pretty much the only skill you can jungle with, at least with Midnight Pulse. We've seen people go for a little bit of stack play, at least get themselves to level 2. But, to yeah, in this situation, he's on the offlane, he wants to use the Eidolon to uh, d deny his own creeps, pull back the wave, and of course, you also have to consider the fact that uh, the reaction time, he was pretty much out of there as quickly as he saw them. All right, well, with that, we'll see if IG can make this old dog in the tinker learn some new tricks here in 6.82. He may have to, or maybe it goes back to the old dog tricks. We'll find out. Luo will be all flame Elder Titan. For now, it's going to be Chizbug playing the support Lich in the mid lane, helping 430. We'll see if he heads down bottom after this, as Luo will not be able to snag the bounty room. That goes the way of FY. And, uh, yeah, we've got 430 on that tinker in the safe lane. We'll go June as the centaur. A hero that's been doing a ton of work in the Chinese scene lately. Honestly, I'm surprised Centaur doesn't get banned more. It feels like every game that the team picks him, he does a lot. We'll see if this is another one of those. Tron will be your off, or sorry, your support line, and then for VG Gaming, Ice 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 once again on the offlane Enigma. He's been playing it pretty much every game, it feels like, lately. Super will go mid as the Death Prophet with that 135 second cooldown Exorcism instead of the 115. And we've got Fenrir as the safe lane Earthshaker. FY, uh, your support Skyrath, as mentioned earlier, and at least Black as the Terrorblade. They go for a Fissure Block. One has been a complete one anyway, but it doesn't end up doesn't end up blocking him regardless. Gets him so, on the wrong side of it. Yeah, difficult for Luo uh, in this position to hold. Like, he's got four Tangos and Boots, and that's okay, but in general, you're going to see a lot of harassment come out from Skyrath. They're going to have really good lane control, and he just, uh, he has to kind of keep the wave in check with this spirit. Like, uh, in this position, you're going to see a lot of potential flank to gank roaming. Uh, the, if they get a smoke up early, he is in jeopardy no matter where he positions himself by the tier one bottom. And, yeah, as far as getting gold, he'll get it occasionally with these spirits, but getting an XP range is a completely different story. For now, Chizbug does march over to the middle lane. I, I'm really feeling like he needs to go help Luo, though. This bottom lane is mm -hmm. just a mess for the Elder Titan. And there were some changes made to the Dire offlane. The creeps tend to meet closer to the tower now than what they did in the previous version. But it's still the Dire offlane. You still yeah. don't have access to a pole camp. And it's, of all heroes, it's an Elder Titan, who frankly needs levels especially badly. Like, just getting 6 isn't even good enough on this hero. You really need level 11. 
And ideally, you'd love to get 16. Whereas, like, you look at, say, I don't know, a Clockwork, he can do a lot once he gets Hookshot. Uh, a Tidehunter can offer a ton with Ravage. Same for Centaur Stampede, but well, Lua's only level 1. Already 2 minutes in. And, and by the way, Fenrir will pick up an Invis bottom. Mm -hmm. He's got the Golden Gravel Maw. <laughs> an Immortal Totem. I'm so jelly. I bought four of these things and didn't get a single Golden. What can you do? He'll head uh -huh. towards mid. Yeah, they did see the rune, though. The Dire Observer Ward does have vision of the bottom rune spawn, so they saw Invis. I believe they even saw Earthshaker pick it up. In either case, they should be aware of the potential threat, and uh, they'll play in a reactive position. Cheesebug still kind of toeing the steps, but I don't think they're going to go down into the river and be caught by a couple of Crypt Swarms. We'll see. Anyways, uh, right now, uh, yeah, like you said, the... Oh, top lane. Waves... Ice 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 has been caught out here. He took a stop, and he will go down, even getting the first blood. The Eidolons are working on Schwan, but I don't think they'll have enough damage. One more volley. It's close. It's not enough. So first blood will go the way of Evictus Gaming, and of all heroes, it goes to the one that is the most potential to take over the mid game in the mm -hmm. Centaur. Yeah, that's really immense. But um, we are going to be seeing some ancient stacking coming out from the side of IG. Hopefully, they know that Tink cannot farm those. Like, there actually is no hero that can cleanly clean uh, take care of those at uh, this stage in the game. So we'll see if they start like triple quad stacking it, then we'll know that they're completely unaware. But they should definitely uh, have some consideration of six point eight two. The uh, the small dragons are not magic immune, right? So those you can kill. I believe so. Technically, the Change log said ancients are included in this, but the okay. small dragons are affected by normal magic spells. But even so, it's <laughs> you could be stacking your big hits. I guess the other thing is they saw Vichy went aggressive, so IG know that well they can't stack their own woods without buying sentries, and they mm -hmm. probably have their suspicions that one of them was this hill ward, which you need flying vision to D ward, which takes until three minutes anyway, and they don't have a hero that gives flying vision. Uh, outside of the other Titan, but he's headed off lane, so maybe because of that, like, oh, we'll stack it once, we can farm it later on, and, and now we can start to stack our jungle. We'll see We'll see if that's what their plan is. In the mid lane, 430 is currently losing, even with the support of the Lich. Not by a huge amount by any means, but by a little bit, in terms of CS. Yep, so it's really just going to be landing phase Dota for a bit, and uh, obviously Lich can benefit from that a lot, going for the sacrifice frequently, he's going to be up to level 3 in a moment, um, and just kind of keeping things low tempo for now. When June hits Blink Dagger, that's when really things start moving. Uh, they're going to be switching lanes, they're going to be putting out aggression, and it's just pretty much prepping all the other heroes for that time frame. We'll see if Ferrari puts any points in the middle. That one does get revealed. Chuan's in position for this one. He'll hex him to start, and then he'll just retreat. Oh, is he going to go for an impale? No, he gets nuked! Chuan waited a bit too long, and he's going to end up just dying. Oh, man. Wow. That was just bizarre by Chuan. But yeah, I don't think he gets out of that either way, no matter how long, yeah, how, how well you time the stun. It's just a, a lot of presence coming in from those specific heroes, but maybe could have pulled it off a little bit better and given him a small chance of escape. You know, either, either case, uh, right now it's going to be 23 last hits plus the first blood on the centaur. He's going to be just uh, picking up that blink and like 1300 gold. Obviously, the gold increased, hurting him down, uh, hurting him a little bit, but you know, in the end, he's still going to be able to build up very quickly. And on the other hand, Terrorblade. We'll have to see what Black builds up, but right now he is by far topping the CS charts at 36. It's a so. smoke bottom lane. They really want to go on Black. They throw out the Spirit, but then Tron can't get a rage. Oh, oh, he can. Gets off the Hex. Wow. Didn't think he'd be able to outrun him, but the Tranquil Boots do the work. Too bad they sound like Chizbug. They would never have had to chase him for a while. Well, meanwhile, on top lane, I'm just looking at June. He was chasing Ice Ice Ice. Instead, he'll just start farming these demonic conversions. He tries to micro them, but he <laughs> tries to deny them, but he's also thwarted there. And this is just a very difficult lane against the level 5 Centaur at this point, even with the denies. Double Edge will kill off the Eidolons, he's not getting to build them up, and they can't even really harass thanks to that return damage, so... It's a tough off lane for him, but good news, he does deny and slow down the Centaur's farm a bit. And they have started to stack the normal jungle now, so... They did not triple stack agents, I oh, think they probably do know, as Ice 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 gets caught out. March will be used, it's, only, it's a level 3 March, but they need a little bit more damage for this kill. Yeah, they just don't have it with this build. Yeah, and actually it might be turned on here. Super's going in. They will have the Concussive Shot hit Cheesebug, though. They kind of switched their targets there as Cheesebug was a little bit too close and took priority for the, the one spell you can't fully control. And that uh, made it so that Peachy Gaming won't find their kill opportunity. They still got the better rune at the six-minute spawn. Picking up Regen over Bounty is definitely going to help out Super a lot more in this lane. But uh, still, if IG make another good rotation, they're going to be able to kind of go for that chain stun. They have the Stampede. They have a lot of means of pursuit. And it is going to be very difficult. 
difficult for Super to survive if they do try to focus him. They had to use Stampede to disengage a little bottom lane. He was just getting chunked by this Terrorblade, and all it took from Black was a single reflection, just that slow, enough to nearly finish him off. So Stampede on cooldown, that will make the rest of the map a bit safer for Vici. And this is an offlane Elder Titan, who at 7 minutes is level 3. You compare yeah. that to Ice 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 and the Enigma, sure, he's not really able to harass June that much, but he's getting his farm. And despite that first blood, he's level 6. It's just such so difficult, even now, to run this Elder Titan in the offlane. And mm -hmm. I'm very worried for Lua, Blaze. I don't know what they can do, though. Like They don't have a hero outside of Centaur they can put here. But until he gets Blink, if he leaves that top lane, then he's just delaying their aggression in the mid game. Yeah, the pu the pullback of the creep equilibrium is nice for Dire, but the terrain changes are still very unfavorable for an off laner on the Dire side. So in this position, if you're gonna go for a solo off lane, you have to have the pull on lockdown. You have to get that warded and blocked off because the bottom line is if the supports have the opportunity to just go for the tri pull go ahead and keep the wave pulled back, then that is literally a suicide lane where you're just not going to get anything. Big smoke from Beachy. But it gets revealed, actually. Uh, I might have just worn off anyway. Either that or it was instantly revealed. But now they find June regardless. Four heroes onto him. They didn't actually have vision, so the smoke broke, but without actually spotting the heroes. And as a result, they get a much needed kill on the centaur. His blink dagger was pretty damn close. At 1,600 gold after the death. I think City around 1,800 before it, but... That will be delayed now. 430 once again denied a rune. He is level 8 thanks to farming those ancient... Or not ancient, so the... Oh, no, he didn't actually farm them. I guess just because he didn't leave the lane. He's got a slight experience lead here, but... Only slight, and... His BOTs are not going to be particularly timely. He's only got 900 gold now. This is a long way off the BOTs. And already fortifying on the top lane. They don't want any damage to come into this tower if they can prevent it, but... So that's still going to be chipped down to about half HP. These Eidolons are really doing work, and they can't be farmed up in turn. So some really nice damage coming out from Beachy's gank. Getting the delay on the blink, getting some real damage into the tower, and the fortify is on cooldown, so... That should be theirs for the taking after one more pickoff. But speaking of pickoff, smokes come out from both sides, and there is going to be blood spilling very soon if those are successful. For now, though, it's going to be just Luo farming up down bottom, finally getting some real experience. Level 5. Oh, so super. Look at this. He just he scouted out the jungle. He's seen the double stack there. And I wonder if they're going to look to gank it. They are already. F1 Fenrir headed there. And it's Pretty right when 430 wants to farm, but if he farms it from down here... It's a fairly difficult gank. Instead, they're going to fight Chizbuck. Well, they'll settle for a free Lich kill. Nothing that Chizbuck can do about this. He'll even drop a ward in their face. Almost saying, screw you, man. I'm still doing my job as a support. You can't stop me. But the, the damage was done. Yeah, most definitely. And there's uh, not much traction for IG until they start moving around with June. They want to wait for the blink, but uh, that just is another like 60 second frame where they're not really doing much in this early game. Vici Gaming right now are just dominating across the map, and it gives plenty of space for Black down bottom. And that's the name of the game for them: is space creation for Black. Get his at least Treads Drum Aquila up so that he can survive through the initial volley of ultimates, and from there he can start snowballing. So we'll see where they move uh, from this point forward. But so far they've made some great uh, uh, avenues towards a successful mid game. I do like Black stopping off not only for the, the Reign of Aquila, which obviously gives your creep wave the armor aura, so you push a lot better, which is kind of the idea of Terror Blade, but he also gets the Quality Blade, which does accelerate your farm rate quite a bit. Uh, something we saw a lot from PL when he first was released. It was actually bugged back then, but it still yeah. does work on Illusions. And, uh, a lot of times Terror Blade is a melee form where it's particularly effective, so... I like this, it will, I think it's well worth it as far as farm speed goes, and well, just your split push will be a bit faster. Mm -hmm. And it's really just nice. such, there's such cheap items too, like, Akila, may, I don't know if he goes full drums here, but I think you can definitely argue for it, just just based on how much damage Terrorblade does for Metamorphosis, if he lives for two more auto attacks, that could be enough to like, basically kill a Lich or a Lion from full HP. Yeah, oh, mid lane. The ice armor is not going to be enough to keep the tower alive. Super will bring that down with both the DD and the exorcism. A great combo to just to deliver as much physical damage as possible, and they do not want to fight into that. Obviously, the reduced cooldown, they'll be a little bit better off. Oh, the observer ward. I think that was pretty clear what they were doing on the side of Vici Gaming in the dire jungle, but for whatever time frame it's up, at least they're keeping track of what Tinker's accomplishing and making sure that he doesn't. Oh, just... did they smoke in vision of that? This, yeah, Dire so. Observer Ward. 
Yeah, yeah. They're, they're spotted out now. And the, the counter smoke will come. I was getting my teeth mixed up for a second. Now they jump in. On to Fenrir, they go with the stop double edge combination. Fenrir will end up going down. Now, FY on the run. Can they chase him down too? No more Stampede. But he walks back towards Chizbug. If he had headed to the north, might have been able to live. As the nukes come out. June, not even needed. Finger of death from Tron will secure that one, boys. And to the north, I said, nice going for the TP. He gets stunned. He doesn't get up. It's going to be a third hero dropping here for Vichy Gaming. Big pickoffs. And yeah, much needed ones with that. But Enigma did get the tower last hit, so that goes the way of Ice 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 and gets some recovery during that time. And somehow, this actually Black has hardly even damaged this tower bottom lane. I feel like he could yeah. have done more by now. Yeah, but it's the power of the Elder Titan in, counter, in terms of counter push. He's got a Soul Ring Tranquil Boot, so he has unlimited usage of this Astro Spirit, and he can just uh, cool down after cool down, counter push the wave. Black, uh, he would love to just be taking down tower after tower while the fight ensues up on the top lane. But Elder Titan's here role here is not just to get experience for a better team fight later; it's also to hold the Black back, and he's accomplished this very successfully with this early item build. Uh, I'm wondering if he even looks at Radiance, just because he's up to 2,700 cold. He could have bought his drums could have bought yasha so mm -hmm. i'm starting to think black wants to play more of a farm oriented and, and just kind of ratty style build it will be nice against centaur to cancel his blink dagger um i suppose as well as tinker potentially if 430 still goes that which i imagine we'll still see yeah. it's only a hunter gold more and, and still a very powerful item on him but I am really, I'm just kind of holding my breath here, please, to see if 430 goes for that standard day gun build, or if he doesn't, if he does something different. The smoke will be revealed, but I don't even think they saw Vichy, because it's nighttime. Yeah, they, they were just short of the vision. They get nothing from that. Both yeah. teams just passing in the night. Daytime, that would have been a bloodbath. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. But ships in the night just makes it so they're not gonna be seeing anything. They lose the smoke, so they don't feel confident in that situation. And yeah, that just buys time for Vichy Gaming to build up their forces. I mean, they're gonna get Death Prophet towards level 11 very shortly. The mechanism coming out for Ice 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 in a very short time frame. And as we mentioned, Terrorblade, he benefits the most from this passivity, from this time frame where he can just build up towards that big item. I mean, obviously Tinker is getting some farm as well, but uh, they want to fight now. They really want to make use of their ultimate while they have them. Oh, the other thing that Bassy is good for is you're up against Elder Titan, so forgot to mention Oh, yeah, fair The plus armor will be nice. As IG make an aggressive foray, but unfortunately, their centaur's been thrown up in the air, and he's getting silenced as well to follow this up. Who managed to... Oh, well, actually, the sun's supposed to miss, but who managed to stampede his way out still ends up going down. And now IG starts to spam their march, keeping Vichy Gaming trapped behind this tower as the spirit hunts them. They do have the spirit tinker interaction as FY is forced to TP out. Uh, you can TP to the Astral Spirit, and it also will amplify his magic damage. So that is one thing he's got going his way. Will he be able to TP him? Yeah, 430 will. Just in the nick of time as the Spirit hunts behind the tower. Searching for Black, and Ice 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 rockets will come through. Hitting the Illusion, and then hitting Black's main hero, and... 430 yeah. is doing... If he had a blink, that would be a double kill right there. The, the zoning power they have is ridiculous. Like, with mm -hmm. the Spirit and the March... Michi Gaming almost just have to go for trades. Like I, they just once the march starts going down, I don't know if they can get in position to defend these towers anymore. Yeah, I mean, it will. The mech will certainly help. Uh, Ice Ice picking that up will allow them to sustain a little bit better. But they they definitely need more in terms of general durability. So we'll see what they can come up with. But for now, a prolonged fights is their biggest limitation. Like, generally speaking, you look in a Death Prophet and you say, the longer she's up, the more she's accomplishing, but right now, IG can do so much damage over the course of, like, multiple uses of the Astral Spirit. Uh, this 0440 build, really working for Oh, 430. Away. He's spotted out. This is gonna delay his bleak dagger. He holds up in the air, and he's 300 gold short. A costly time to go down. His concussive shot crashes in. He tries to make his retreat. Maybe with the Stampede, it's enough to get him out safely. The debuff will end. The rocket's thrown out. Super did not have exorcism, so really nothing else he could have done. Well, that's Stampede, man. Saving lives and preserving 430's blink timing. Very important. Yeah. In this position, uh, FY is just barely having enough mana to cast his ultimate. He actually gets a bottle sip from Super to help him out. Two bottle sips. He re they really want to make use of this ultimate, but they have to combo it perfectly with the Yules or with the Fisher. It is like, a, I think, a 10% less DPS time as it is extended over 2.2 seconds instead of 2.0. But, um, yeah, it's just, the 
thing that they haven't really made use of right so far this game is the Skywrath Mage in general. Like he has Radiant one kill, three assists, but it it's not really fallen. been on his shoulders to accomplish that. It's just been the the fights back and forth. He's been participating, but he hasn't been really redefining these engagements. Well, he does have mana now. We'll see Tron move towards mid. Hex is online. Only level one. He's got the the max impale though, and even that level one hex online, especially, is still pretty good. Two and a half seconds. Teachy Gaming will move towards top now though. Super and Fenrir. Hang out in the jungle for this time. There's no real stacks to clear, so it's not huge economic damage done, but IG in the meanwhile are waiting on the hill. And now they're gonna smoke. Chizbug will be in front. I imagine we'll see this arrangement change a bit. But they're letting him lead the way for now. As the Elder Titan Spear will come back. Looks like they managed to stack one of their camps on the way. Well, Black holds the line bottom line. He has gone for Relic. Radiance will be coming soon. Avicii Gaming just kind of playing this defensive style, just a little bit nervous to take fights. I think they saw the amount of damage put out in, in that earlier top lane. Ah, uh, they might find FY now. Chizbug yeah, is onto him. The ward's there. Stampede will follow this up. There'll be a defensive fissure from Fenrir. And that will end the push for forward. As the rockets come through, they do a lot! Chain Frost, not enough. Do they continue chasing him out? They do. Another blink in. And a finger of death, that's gonna secure the kill. Nicely done. They'll bring down those two supports. Now they look for a bit more as Tron and Luo retreat out together. I don't think that's worth it, honestly. The Chain Frost cooldown is so large and the Finger of Death at this rank as well that you the getting the kill on the Earthshaker doesn't mean all that much. We'll see if uh, they regret not having it at any point in time soon, but I don't know. That's just not the highest value kill, and now Luo's gonna get Yules. They did bait out the Exorcism, though. So if they don't get a kill with this, then maybe that makes up for it. Okay. That is a 135 second cooldown. Although, it also lasts a while, so it ends up being like 100 seconds you don't have it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, you yeah, they won't have that for this push, so if they go in now, it's just with the mech and auto attacks, and... I'm honestly not sure if Ichi Gaming could push in at this stage, please. Like, not, not directly into March and Astral, that is such a potent duo. If they really wanted to push, they'd be looking at the bottom tier 1, that's the probably a highest value tower right now in terms of Roshan and general map control. But uh, what they're trying to do is actually draw IG to the top lane away from Black's farming route, so that he can just take over the jungle with his illusions, farm the lane, and get to that Radiance, which he's only about... 400 gold off so really it's not just the push that they're really looking for it's the distraction and it's the occupancy of ig and the resources uh, one of ig's resources is getting aggressive now june's well onto their side of the map he's hunting for a pick off here not sure i don't he doesn't have the burst to solo kill black and, and then you've got to worry about the turn from sunder which now has improved cast point in this patch as well um but for now june is just lurking could bring the tinker in potentially if there's a creep wave nearby and it seems 430, while well, the question's been answered, they're still going to go for the Dagon on him. And it is still strong. I mean, the, I think the biggest weakness for Tinker has to be the by, the fact by far, or the biggest nerf that he can't find the Ancients anymore. But with that, with now that he's kind of past that stage of the game, the Dagon's still going to be strong. It'll be amplified a lot by the Elder Titan Natural Order. And 430 is still going to be a big threat as this goes towards the late game. It seems we, we might have some... Very far more into Dota, but I'm not sure that Vici at the edge against Elder Titan. Such a powerful... I guess you'd call him anti-carry more than anything. Yeah, he definitely enhances his team's potential so that no matter what you get, uh, as far as item progression, it's not going to matter enough. It specifically hurts the Terror Blade because obviously he has so much base armor and a huge amount of agility gains. So he's probably going to look for, if he doesn't go for all Vlads, then at least maybe considering an AC on his team, you know, probably in the Death Prophet more than anybody else. But yeah, it definitely makes it difficult for him to make his impact uh -oh. known. Oh, this has been spotted out, but Super's there to reveal it. Unfortunately, Fender still gets caught out in pale as well. Tron silence though so he can't get off his finger of death it won't be needed now 430 try to oh, tp in but the spirit man. disappears at the wrong time they still get the kill there the finger of death securing it as the silence end looking for another stop super will casually toss back a yules and then turns killing off one looking for more luo in trouble dropping low to super will end up falling meanwhile chain frost bounces to black but does very little 
There's still a there's a potential here for 430 to go back in on him. And that was what terribly kind of being zoned off the fight for a lot of it, but a big win there in the end for Vichy Gaming. Yeah, another big aspect of that was that Enigma had to essentially choose between black hole and mechanism. It's 225 on mech now, and they increased the mana cost on black hole as well. So it, he just doesn't have the mana, even with Soul Ring, to do both without perfect usage of the intelligence treads. So uh, difficult for Ice 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 in that situation. He did go down as a result, I believe, but yeah, still they take a great fight. They're still in home turf. They're still able to react, and they're able to bring all their heroes into the fray. Like, even though, like you said, Terrorblade was zoned out, he was still involved. He was still a target they had to focus or uh, push back, and they committed abilities to him. So still making his impact known, and it'll be more so as this Radiance really starts to take effect. And a bloodstone now for Super with the, the new recipe, for those who haven't heard. <laughs> I made this mistake the other way. But yeah, it does involve a Sol Rain and a recipe now, and instead of the Perseverance. So I think it's, it's a little bit cheaper. I think it's 100 or 150 gold or something. But um, yeah, still a nice pickup for him. And it also really suggests that Vici Gaming are not in any rush to try and win this game. The Radiance of the Terrorblade, now the Bloodstone on your Death Prophet. These are items that will be ultimately aim angling towards later on. When you get more Bloodstone charges, when the Radiance is kind of paid for itself with the additional farmer provides. Is going late the right answer? I guess we'll find out. I still think IG's lineup is very easy to underrate in that regard. Yeah, but if they pick up a pipe to nullify a lot of the magic damage, then they still should be able to keep multiple heroes alive. TB with and they are actually Scotty. they are building one right now. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. That's that's really really important for them to have it. I, obviously, the mana cost still has to be considered, but it's very valuable in this game in particular. Not just for the obvious barrier active, but also the passive. Uh, magic resistance that will make it so that he can't be burst down. But, um, yeah, as far as late game, when you get, like, Scotty, uh, maybe Satanic on this Terrorblade and it gets really tanky, I actually don't have much against that other than the Permahex. And right now, obviously, Ferrari has gone at least one level in Dagon before considering that alternative. But uh, when you look at just v IG's item progression, look at their boots in particular. Four Tranquil Boots, three Blink Daggers. They want to be active, they want to be mobile, and they just want to get in for easy, quick kills. They're in skirmish mode right now, and they're not really focused on farming. So with... All of this invested in Ferrari, I think Vici are comfortable enough with uh, their potential to lock him down and subsequently take the late game. Yeah, it seems both teams have their own ideas and, and confidence in them about who has that late game edge. They're, I mean, if they're looking for a gank bottom, then they're, they're definitely wasting their time here, because Vici are not coming to that lane. It was a kind of pretty extended period where they weren't doing a whole lot. Well, Super will push in the top lane, but Dagon begins to be leveled up. And we'll just have to see if they find those pickoffs. For now, Super is saving Exorcism. I think Vici Gaming are going to try and force a tier 3 here. After the glyph, we'll see. For now, the glyph popped. It will end, and the rotation commences from Luo. He comes to defend while continuing to push bottom lane as June. And shows bug, but it's a very slow push at that blaze. Stop really to fun. slow it down further, but they're still saving that Exorcism. If they don't go high ground, they may just rotate mid and go for a tier 2 there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this like push you said, they still, still not done. No, they're so slow at taking these towers that I think actually they might be able to force them back. One Midnight Pulse, and yeah, they're not going to be able to take this tier 2. It's just a overall win for Vici Gaming. Nothing lost. And yeah, they're going to just build up that pipe extremely fast on the back of that gold, and uh, there's no way that IG feel comfortable in the Roche pit now. Like, when you consider the objectives that were so valuable in 6.81, taking towers, oh. taking Roche, it's just not an option for them with this current state of affairs. All the ulti is up for Vici, these big items coming out. They're tapering. Well, uh, for now, it's the, I think the biggest issue is just even if they get those picks, they don't they don't take towers quickly. We saw that already bottom. So for IG to win this one, they're gonna have to win a bunch of fights in succession and really smack the death profit and terribly down. Whereas Vici win one fight, they're probably taking two three towers. They go bottom lane on to June. They force out the stampede and custom shot will follow him. But he actually turns around for a second, almost like he wants to go back in, though he won't choose to do so in the end. And meanwhile, Black is kind of playing the, the one role if this is a 4 protect one with the Death Prophet semi death balling and uh, how fitting. <laughs> yeah, Senny's illusions off to the push the mid lane. Now he's farming his own jungle. Not really groupy with his team too much. Up to 2900 gold and more items now coming out. We're going to see a buckler. Um, what is. Oh, oh, sorry, that's Black's throw of the Magi. Okay. So Black's going to complete his drums, I believe. We're going to see FY now working towards. I think he's building that 
damage block item. The the crimson guard. Crimson guard. He's okay. Building a buckler. Yeah, yeah, I can see value in that. They obviously already have the mech, so they crimson guard it's, it's, coming out. It's a nice value pickup against Elder Titan, I think, more than anything. Okay. Um, if the yeah. mech's not around, at least. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you get the plus five armor. I, I don't think there's an armor aura involved in the active, but still the block is, is substantial. I mean, it's not like IG have hard right-clickers, right? Like, they aren't hitting above 100 on pretty much any hero unless Elder Titan has that massive uh, Astral Spirit buff. So, in that position, uh, yeah, you get the, the, the decent, uh, it's like a kind of minimalistic... A passive block, but when you activate it, even on a ranged hero, you really get the, a lot of benefit there. The f plus 50, 100%, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good way to k stay alive throughout the fights. And it, it does stack with mech, you're saying? Fully? Yeah, I mean, there's there's okay. nothing about it that wouldn't. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's a lot of plus armor, and it's kind of a nice one. I imagine, like, Vlad's would be a little odd on these supports, but this is a, another cost-effective armor item they can pick up. I'll head yeah. towards the bottom lane now. And I suppose he could complete the Crimson Guard later if he wanted to. Though Vanguard feels a little odd. But look for super bottom lane. He does have his Yule Scepter ready to go. But no chance in hell he's getting that off. Not with this kind of a beatdown from IG. Nicely played. Still, there is Black pushing at the top lane. And my only question for IG is do they take towers after these kills? Because that has been the issue for them thus far. Hmm. A lot of gold actually going to the lion after killing off that death prophet there. Obviously, getting the last hit that was a dominating streak. So he jumps up 740 gold, and although that's only an urn of shadows, that gold just any progression at all is going to be huge for IG because they cannot lose momentum at this stage in the game. They don't have easy objectives to take to just get gold across the team, so they need to look for the high value kills, and that's the death prophet, that's the terror blade. So keeping their focus there is going to be of the utmost importance. Black does have a BKB in the works, but while he doesn't have it, he's still quite vulnerable. If they can just find the, the originator, if they just keep on jumping illusions, they're going to have problems. But if they find the real black and are able to knock him down, then that's going to be what puts IG back in the game. Because right now, they have been falling short as far as general progression. Their, their goal graphs, obviously, are in favor of Vici and will remain that way unless something happens. Oh, they've managed to get a jump in here on FY. He's way too far out of the Skyrath Mage. And that will be a kill going to 430. Of all the heroes to give a kill to, probably the one you don't want to. And 430 with that is... He's nearing completion on the Dagon 5. He's already got Dagon 4 gold if he wants to go it. And at that point, just an Ethereal Blade, if, assuming that's the, the continued progression for him. Already kind of gets the equivalent of the Ethereal Blade from that Astral Spirit, but... Hey, even more damage never hurts. Yeah, at this point you might even consider putting a Veil on one of these heroes. I, I, it's got to be difficult to kind of coordinate that, but if you get like a Finger of Death, Ethereal Blade, Dagon on heroes that are enhanced by Veil or enhanced by the Natural Order, then they're just going to be dropping left and right. And Obviously that's going to be the best way for IG to take these 5 on 5s is just turning them into instant 5v3s. And the other thing that is, this Tinker with this this amount of farm, he's, okay, he's gone back for Ghost Scepter, so he may just complete Z Blade now, but it's at the point where, like, he can just taser these illusions, and they just die instantly. So, with mm -hmm. between that and the laser, until Black gets something, like, along the lines of a heart or a Scotty, I, Tinker can clear out the illusions. Lion's pretty good at it as well. And may have the gold for, like, a Ghost Scepter, so they can't auto-attack him soon. And they may have the solutions for these, not to mention a Hex later on for the Tinker if he farms it. And it looks like it's either a Force Staff or maybe another Dagon for Lil. I have seen Ice 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 build Dagon before on Elder Titan, Oh yeah. but I'm wondering if that's really the level of commitment they wanted to damage. We'll find out. Tron about to jump in bottom lane? No, not with the Ghost still out. Yeah, we haven't really seen much of this other Titan other than the spirit. Like the stomps, the earth splitters are obviously an option, but uh, we just really haven't seen the impact there. But uh, he's actually going the eggs. Luo is going for the Aghanim Scepter on the Elder Titan, the disarm up against t oh, uh, the oh, Terrible. Oh shit, I forgot about that upgrade. Oh yeah. my goodness. I wasn't sure if they would actually find it valuable it's... enough, but it is a very long duration. I think it's so like basically four, anyone caught in Earth Spider gets disarmed for like four or five seconds. Yeah. We can look at the exact time in a sec. But they've jumped down super now. They got off the stomp really quickly. Mystic Flare trying to zone it, discards that Lich from further pursuit, but 430 finds the opening on the sideline. Insta picks one off. Then the dunk of the chase boat. There will be quick revenge here as the supports also die on the side of IG and in the end, they'll lose June as well. 
He gets trapped in, not really going much of anywhere. I hear Tinker killing stuff, but just waiting oh, to make sure Drew will die. He will fall in the end. Oh, 430 able to make his way out. Black takes in a lot of damage from that Earth Splitter. But Mech and Pipe back up, so it's a 3 for 1 exchange in the end. They don't lose, I would say they're most of two important heroes at this stage, but... Um, okay, yeah, so... Ags on Elder Titan. Six is uh, sit level 16. Uh, right now it's uh, going to be 5 second duration. Uh, with the Agadims at level 16, it will be a six second dis disarmament. One thing I tested about this uh, a couple days back in the test client was you can, if you have your BKB active, you will still be disarmed and slowed, but if you save your BKB until the disarm hits, you can BKB to, to take it off. So, Interesting. Yeah. So it's, it's, kind of, kind, it's kind of like Halbert, except... <laughs> Uh, it can it can go through BKB is the mm -hmm. main difference. Yeah, I would I would look at it more like an entangle kind of thing. Like where you'd okay, wow. Hey, look plays at that for four thirty. Ice 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 does come in. He's got black hole mana if he soul rings, I believe. But man, four thirty just gave him the Zapparino. That was some confident play there, blinking and I'm not even sure if he realized that the actually he has a ward, but I'm not sure if he saw the Enigma move up into the lane. By the way, four thirty. Gets no fucks. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely legit, and he's looking to also contest the high ground if necessary. He's ready to just jump in and get those blasts as necessary. Just that really tailored this level of Dagon to exactly what he needs to be able to combo a certain level of HP hero. So that pipe is of the utmost importance now for Vici, timing it well and making sure that stuff like that doesn't continue to happen, because otherwise the burst is just going to be too legit. It is, after all, like I said, terribly its weakness in this situation. But uh, no roast just yet. They still don't feel confident, and uh, they're just going to control the enemy jungle, at least for the moment. E-Blade coming out for the Tinker now. Yeah, E-Blade's out. Soon the Elder Titan will pick up his Aghanim Scepter, and well, maybe not if he dies here to Super. BKB will be popped by Super, he's chasing after Tron, so if this is all he gets, then he's used his ultimate just to kill off the support lion. And it seems, oh, oh no, he's got the gem too. Okay, that's a pretty big swing for Vici Gaming. Getting that gem, and we'll have some ability to take the map back over now. Yeah, so still 200 gold off Elder Titan will be able to find this, uh, but there's the, the two major aspects of it. Whether or not Black knows the te BKB timing against the no, Earth Splitter, and also if it lands in the first game. place. Like, they don't have anything that guarantees that they'll stand throughout the full duration other than the Echo Stomp itself. So we'll see if he can actually connect it on the heroes he wants when it counts, but Jim. it does have a lot of potential. They've seen him coming in here, but the, the Crypt Swarm missed, so he's able to blink out. If he doesn't c connect on that, or if he does connect on that Crypt Swarm, then June probably dies. But instead, he'll survive through it. And, yep, yeah, I mean, Tinker's could, this is, like you said, all you need is a Veil. I'm almost thinking his Dagon could even one-shot. Like, how much damage does that do if you have the Veil, the Elder Titan, and the Dagon? Man, like, that's gotta, gotta be insane. well into the thousands, if yeah, not definitely. even more. Fisher will come out now, keeping June off the fight, but actually also protecting oh. himself. Number one, 430 is just getting started here, folks. A look for more as the chain cross bounces to Fenrir, then back again. They blink forward on him, 430 having free raid in this fight. Ice 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 will match the TP out, it looks like just barely escaping. Three heroes fall. Oh. Man, the Zapparinos. Uh, and the Death Prophet committed suicide, by the way, so yeah. they didn't get that. Even still, it's a massive gold swing, a net gain of 2,300, it looks like. Just an insane movement for IG, and that's essentially it. Is If Vici Gaming can turn it into an actual fight, then they're going to win it. But in this case, IG are not looking for a fight. They're looking for a massacre. They just want to blow them apart, make it so it's not even a contest, and uh, then they'll look to take objectives after that. I'm just gonna laugh so hard if Tinker's actually still legit after this. <laughs> after all the what seemed like big nerfs to him. He does get a little more int from the Dagon, so I suppose that could be considered a buff potentially, but it's also more more expensive at the, the higher levels to use. But so far, it seems like IG have weathered the storm and maybe Beachy Gaming just underestimated how quickly 430 could ramp up his farm in the mid game and, and how much damage output he would have. At the same time, though, they do have these BKBs, and with the pipe online, I'm, I'm almost thinking, Blaze, like, you know that March does no longer will hit BKB targets, do you, and you've got a pipe. Do you just death ball at mid? Um, there's definite validity in that. I mean, obviously the creep waves will still be, you'll have to pipe them up, but in general, 
yeah, I mean, you can accomplish that. I think they're much more in a defensive posture where they just want a lot of HP on Terrorblade. They want to get him to, like, a 25,000 net worth before they have to close the game out. But uh, the longer they wait and spread the map, the more opportunities IG have to pick. So it might be better just to five-man together. But it really just comes down to IG's movements and if they can predict them. If they can just see IG coming and avoid those confrontations, it's better to farm. But there's it's kind of an ideal world when you can imagine your team's not going to get picked off. For now, the Spirit is scouting. It runs through FY. Not sure if he's paying attention to that. But now we'll earn himself up, and they find the Lich. Well, this Lich is probably in trouble. Got off the Exorcism in time. That's two to stampede the hell away. Everybody on the way out. As June actually goes into this fight, I'm not sure he wants to be here. Meanwhile, on the southern end of the engagement, 430 Lure just biding their time. I, I, th I don't think they want to engage with this. Maybe they're looking for a pickoff. Yeah, they throw out the Spirit onto FY. He's probably oh, yeah. not. Yeah, Zap number one. 430 is oh. just heating up. Fissure will find him after the blink, though. He's going to have to re arc quickly and blink out again. Can he do it? Oh, not the best blink of his life. Another Zap on the Fissure. Still gets the kill. And Super was swept by the Elder Titan stop, so he can't chase 430. And right now, the Exorcism ends. He gets thrown up in the air as 430 oh. tries to retreat out, but they might lose their Tinker. He'll buy his final Dagon recipe. That's your Dagon 5 in the piggy bank. But Lua will get finished off as well. Without the Tinker, there's just no chance for IG. They'll lose 4 for 3 here, and they might lose their fifth plot. Blink pulling down. We'll nice. blink out to the southern side of the ramp and retreat out in the end. But yeah, that's a fight recap worth seeing. And gold change? Huh? Really? 1382 and 423? Oh, that's how much each team gained. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, so a very even fight, I guess. Experience gain was substantial for both teams, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing on the Tinker is still really huge there. I mean, uh, one thing to consider is although Tinker is at the top of net worth, his team is behind in that department. So those two stats work against each other as far as the, the amount of bounty you get from the kill. So in the end, he's still a very high value target specifically, but the in general, IG is getting more out of each individual kill. So yeah, it's still pretty even back and forth between the two sides. But yeah, turning that into a real fight with Vici moving in, that's definitely what they were looking for. It's just a, a slugfest at this point. But, the, uh, the other thing is, their BKBs are still healthy. I mm -hmm. just checked them. They've got a 10 second BKB just picked up by Ice Ice Ice. I believe it's an 8 second, or sorry, 7 second on the Death Prophet, 8 second on Black's Terror Blade. So there's room here for Vici to just yeah. try and bull rush. Yeah. There was a mistake made in the last one, too. When the Yule's initiation came out on the Lich, June again stampeded before he was out of the scepter. And the effect oh, was. Oh no, he they made it up the jump in from June. He might have to stampede to get out of this. I'll have to BKB and stampede so he can't be yield. Ouch. But then he runs in and out and. Oh, this precious BKB charge is ticking down. Stop will come through, but the rocket hits black, which removes the stop. Otherwise, 430 might have even gone for a taser attempt. He throws out another set of rockets, this time hitting Femir, and retreats backwards through the tree line. As Ice 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 looks to clear them out with Midnight Pulse, just to prevent that and no pesky tinker from having the, the hidden trees to work with. Yeah. The other thing that we might see if there is a lot of tinker play is maybe that nutrient protector with the eyes on the trees. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I guess there are still some other potential solutions to the hero, but for this game, he is doing a lot of work, even though it is looking a bit better for Vici after that fight. And they'll go into the Roche Pit with Exorcism now. The Elder Titan does have his Earth Splitter. For now, we'll leave with the stop, but didn't actually connect on anyone important, it looks like. And mm -hmm. Vici Gaming, they bring Roche down to about half HP. But Exorcism will end soon. It might almost be a, in the range where... Well, actually, IG have, like, no physical damage. Never mind. They can't really take this. I think with the new terrain, a Radiant Elder Titan is so much more powerful than a Dire one, because if you actually like look at the trajectory, going in from your side of the map, you can get a straight line straight into the pit with the Earth Splitter. Anytime they try to disengage from Roche, they're going to get hit by but the But they're, they're not disengaging. They're engaging right now. Charge, says June. Stampedes in. They'll insta-give FY. But Tron gets caught in the black hole. June's here as well. Where's that Earth Splitter? He can't use it. He's silenced. Oh, I think FY might have been the one to do it even. Couldn't get it off as a result of stop. The Earth Splitter there, 430 pursued through the trees, and now in trouble. Yule's up, he won't go to blink out. He's gonna have to make some fancy oh. forward cap and gets the double kill, but still cost him his life. A three for three exchange. Black hole was used. Man, I think it was FY who silenced Lou. I'm not sure, maybe the death prophet, but if he didn't get silenced there, that would have been so bad for Vici. Almost an instant Earth Splitter cancel would have hit like four heroes and potentially just gotten them a wipe. Yeah. 
The recap is not showing a Mystic Flare use, so it must have been the Death Prophets, and uh, Ice 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 actually had a, a bit of a rough spot. Luckily, Black is pretty much all the reinforcements this RBD. It's Ice 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 will be able to waltz on out of here. Now, the Earthshaker actually dropped down really, really quickly when Ice dropped the Black Hole because he actually popped the Black Hole before and still had Pipe available. Pipe's instant, so it wasn't a time factor, but he might have been concerned about his mana pool and whether or not he could support it. So he ends up uh, piping after the Black Hole, and the, the focus wasn't on surviving it was getting the big disable which is great but then of course Ferrari outside of it just blast their shaker to pieces so didn't get the chain stun that they were looking for the follow-up there still a nice fight overall for VG gaming as they continue to accrue this cold lead and hold the experience lead at least for the moment it's Back in the pit. only 41 minutes in, but it's starting to feel like a pretty epic late game potential here that lead is significant for Vici but by no means overwhelming Oh. This will jump in. They look for the initiation. Actually, the pit at the same time. June, Blink Stop was dodged by the BKB of Super. Oh, that BKB. And this is pretty much going to be a free rush at this point. Just They can't really walk into the pit anymore and oh, fight no. it. They may try for a 430 Blink Steal. Is he going to go for it? No, no vision. The Spirit came in a bit too late, I believe. And now yeah, the They've caught up Chase Bug. The Angels did go the way of Black on the Terror Blade. So have two lives to work with. And now they try to finish off June, but he forced us out of the Mystic Player. While his own illusion works against him, just slowly smacking him down. Black is really bullying IG in this one. And Black continues pursuit. The tree is now cleared out by Ice Ice Ice. Gets off the Malapis. No BKB for June. Getting run over. The fight is not over, Volvo. Please, no fight recap just yet. Um, now they can push in mid. They've got the Terrorblades ultimate, or uh, Metamorphosis, it might as well be his yeah. ultimate. Alright, another recap. <laughs> Now, um, Black used his BKB for essentially nothing there, so it's really good that he had the Aegis as the extra, extra presence as a second life, but in 10 seconds time it won't matter, he'll still have the 6 second BKB charge, and he'll look to use it. Earth Splitter is going to be on cooldown for this fight, but... Oh, oh my gosh. The slam dunk on FY! Get Rickful, he says, but the trade will be there, they lose their Taker. Probably, almost certainly the bigger kill, but also lose their first lane of Raxxas, Vici Gaming, just overwhelm IG inside their base. Stop. But Tinker fought back as well, he's not going to have another life for 90 seconds. This might just be GG. VG Gaming per could probably end it here. There's no Glyph available, IG really pressed for options. Even that Earth Splitter will pull down for 30 seconds. VG looking at two lanes of Rax, maybe even a third, in game one of this best of three. It's been it's a real 6.82 showcase, man. This is the exciting stuff we're looking for. But good stop on the black. Chainfoss will follow this through. He's got a second life, though. He's also got his ultimate. Can he get it off? He does! Oh! He does! Oh, it's all over now for IG. There's just no hope. There's no hope. They can go bottom. They can probably take a third lane of Rex. If they really want to be safe, they could back. But they still have this age. Just Death Prophet Exorcism is cooled down. And Taker is still dead for 40 seconds. I'm actually not sure if Ichi gave me realized that he doesn't have buyback and that he used it in the last fight, but I would think they would go for that third lane of Rex if they did know. I guess they decide not to and ultra slow roll it instead. Oh, there's a tier 2 tower actually, sorry. So they can't take the Rex, but they could push the tier 2. Mm -hmm. So that's get, get a little excited here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, I mean, when you see a fight like that followed up by two lanes of racks, you, you just gotta be pumped for Vici Gaming's win potential here. Uh, they've been actually in control of the game for a long time, period of time. If you look at the gold and experience graph, there have been some fights that favor IG, but it's not enough to tip the scales in their favor. And when it comes down to it, they are still very hard countered by BKBs. So uh, using each charge for what it's worth, Black's able to, to survive through the fights. Ice 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 has been able to miraculously with it and yeah in general they've just been moving into this just dominant uh, fashion now we do see the push down a bottom lane and this is going to be the one that uh, ig have to make something huge happen with it has to be like a four-man earth splitter after bkbs otherwise i just don't see them pulling it back even if they win that fight if they don't also kill black and the death prophet in that if even one of them live they might just go in for the throne and, and take out a tier four or two regardless and should IG win this fight? They're not really pushing quickly, so they'll have to win quite more than, quite a few, not just the one. Let's see. Michi Gaming will push in the tier two. They'll play this one safe, knowing that it is an elimination match. Winner moves on to the grand finals where the old boys are waiting. They had the easier side of the bracket. And this, honestly, could end up being the best matchup of the tournament. These two teams are looking fierce. Black will push in. Heart not picked up on your Death Prophet. The beef is just overpowering at this point. 3,400 HP, 24 armor, even with the Elder Titan Astral Screen, a lot of that won't be removed. These these heroes are gigantic. 
And then you look at poor Fy. He's got 960. <laughs> Dude, he just wants that Crimson <laughs> Guard so he, much. He needs the Vitality Booster, man. That's yeah. what he really needs. He should auto. I almost want to say all the Magic Wand or something to get it. Yeah. Just to have that extra HP. But either way, VG Gaming continue their siege. At this point, you're 46 minutes into the game. I don't know if 50 block is going to really do anything for you at all, but, you know, he wants to st finish what he started. That is a pretty big recipe cost, so... Yeah, I don't blame him if he just goes and, and goes through with it, but I don't really feel like we've felt like the... Uh, FY God in this one. We've not, we haven't really seen the impact of the Skywrath. Three kills, ten assists. It's been not bad, but overshadowed entirely by the rest of Vici Gaming. That's pretty scary. Uh, for as much as FY has done over the past month, and mm -hmm. obviously he's still the drafter and uh, making a lot of the in game calls, so he has a lot of involvement beyond his individual play. If he can have an off game and they still wreck face like this, yeah, that's a scary team. By the way, these, these rid of, rid of a kill is a really just bothering me lately. <laughs> For some reason, people just don't sell them. And now FY is getting annoyed by it too. His OCD is ticking. This is the second day in a row where this has happened. Get that 400 gold, man. They're gonna go top lane now. Uh-oh. June could get caught out here. He'll blink out just barely in the nick of time. Well, they'll go for a split push style. They'll send four heroes towards the northern side. They'll leave the Elder Titan Park bottom lane, and they just slow siege it. Even just a couple auto attacks from those ranged illusions. Just from all the tower, and they're not even dying. Meanwhile, mid, supercharges in, he's found the Tinker, he's gonna throw everything at 430, but he has a BKB and Stampede, which will allow him to get out safely. As meanwhile, your Centaur comes in, still looking for that real engagement from IG. They might just go for the throw, knowing Stampede's down. They're kind of thinking about it, but they're also just using Super as a distraction. He focuses on tier 4s, this means no R splitter hitting both 4s no matter what. Chizbug forced back, Avicii Gaming now forced out the cliff. They do go on Super, and they will... Will manage to kill him off. Didn't get off his Bloodstone Deny either, but the tier 3 falls bottom. And Super will respawn in 40 seconds. Oh. Tap number 2, they lose their gem. IG heating up, but it's really going to take a lot more than this. I mean, Blaze, there's still a tier 1 mid, a tier friggin' 1 top, and a tier 2 bottom. They are going to have to win way more fights in a row to turn this one around. Yeah. Still and they don't push. They don't push either. Still the golds not too shabby. I mean, 1500 on the Centaur and the Tinker. Uh, where they're definitely building up. Finally, FY finishes his Crimson Guard. Sell the friggin' Aquila, Vlad! FY screams <laughs> He's messing with his teammate that Nary did. There we go. But, uh, yeah. The one big thing is uh, Ice 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 finally has a Blink Dagger. He's actually been engaging in all these various fights with just the mech, BKB, and Pipe. It's only now that he finally picks up the Blink, and this is how you you catch out somebody that's stampeded, is you Blink past them and you get the Black Hole right where they're running. So there's a, a lot of value in this pickup, even though obviously the Earth Splitter does interrupt channels if it connects uh, even after the BKB, and also the Chain Frost, of course, can interrupt it. But we've seen, even with just the most basic black holes, that VG Gaming are already dominant. So if Ice 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 can blink in and grab multiple heroes, that might just be the game breaker. Now VG Gaming will group up bottom once again. They're sending Super towards the mid lane. No buyback on him once more. No buyback on your Terror Blade. But I think it just shows that how far ahead VG Gaming feel they are, and just the state of the game where they can probably I mean, this is, there's still that slight uh, rubber band effect with the new patch, but it's been reduced significantly. They'll jump in mid on Super though, but the black hole is waiting oh for this. Oh my god. On all three. Ice, ice, ice will turn this one, baby, in a big, big way. But maybe it's not enough. Well, meanwhile, Black's working on the racks. He'll secure the Megas while the rest of the team just stalls, and still the Death Prophet lives. Mega Creeps online. Terror Blade up in your grill. This is probably the end for IG. Taker's still alive. Lua won't even be able to TP out. And that'll be it. GG well played. Game 1 was a doozy, but IG will fall short here. The Tinker, Elder Titan, it had its day, but VG Gaming say, it is a new day, sir. It is a day of Terror Blade, and Terror Raid Supreme in the Dire Base. Awesome game for both sides. Vici obviously knew their strengths. They timed their movements well, and they only pushed when they either felt they needed to to create space for Black, or when he was farmed enough that they had that opportunity. And uh, the pickoffs were really cool to see from IG. Obviously, seeing lasers fly about is always entertaining, but it just wasn't enough in the end. Uh, Tinker was the only hero you could consider a carry, and ET just wasn't enough to enhance him to a full carry state against multiple BKBs. So, uh, Vici Gaming, they really find the, the trump card and are able 
able to hammer it down in game one. We'll have to see how game two plays out. Uh, with that said, game two coming up next, guys. This is a best of three. Stick around. You're watching Beyond the Summit's coverage of iLeague. I'm LD. He's plays. And we'll be right back.